One thing all of us need in our lives is air. Everywhere you turn, there's air. But let's be honest, some of it's good, some of it not so much. And your nose can't always tell the difference. Well, now there's a totally tubular invention that tells us if pollution is among what's going into our lungs. Whether you're inside or outside, innovators Igor Miknenko and Vera Koser really want to make sure you know about the air you're breathing. The pair invented the Atmo Tube Air Pollution Monitor, a small device you carry around with you anywhere, and it gives you real-time data on the toxicity levels of the air in your surroundings. Igor and Vera spoke to me from Phuket, Thailand. Well, hello there, and welcome to Innovation Nation. Hi, Paul. Hello. What inspired you to innovate this portable air pollution monitor? Well, we've been traveling to China a lot, and we were always concerned about the air quality around us, uh, especially in China. And there was no tool to actually measure the air pollution right where you are. So we decided to do something about it and invent a portable device that will be able to sense the real-time data of the air pollution. Can you explain what it does? This small tiny nose inside the atmosphere can detect the pollutants and send this data to the smartphone application or online so you will be able to understand either the, the air is bad for you or not. So how the heck does it detect toxins in the air? The material inside the sensor changes its resistance based on the concentration of different chemicals around it. And we've built algorithms for calibration of this material in our factory to be able to determine which exact concentration means which exact level of the pollution. The duo chose to make the tube out of titanium because the material, they point out, is clean, sturdy, and ages gracefully. Because it's a real-time device, you can literally see what actions lead to what consequences in terms of the air that you breathe. For example, whether opening a window inside your apartment actually makes your air quality better or worse. Vera's suggestions for improving the air in your home Move around your house and check whether or not any rooms have poor air quality. Change up the paint if necessary and add some plants into the mix. All potential ways to better the air we breathe. Well, thank you for being on our air. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mom. <laughs>